Welcome back to the Caribou Data Science Data Science Channel. Before we get started, I'd really appreciate if you would click on that red S button down in the lower right hand corner and subscribe to the channel. And while you're at it, hey, here's your challenge for this week. Show the, you know, show this channel to one more of your friends and get them to uh, subscribe also. Okay, now, <clears throat> now we, we, this is the uh, third or fourth part in a series. <clears throat> excuse me, in a series having to do with uh, <coughs> grief, having to do with how to calculate and plot a fitted or smooth curve. So far, we've done a, a non-moving average, a simple moving average, and now we're doing what's called a low S or low West. So that's just, that's just good to get the definition of this uh, right now. So what is a low res regression? Low res regression is a non-paramedic technique that uses local weighted regression to fit a smooth curve through points in a scatter plot. Low res, low res curves are, are, can reveal trends and cycles that might be difficult to model with a parametric curve. Low res regression is one of the several algorithms of, of SAS that can automatically choose and choose a smoothing parameter that best fits the data. Okay, now the basis for the code today comes from this page right here. The thing we need to notice first is the use of an index. The low S cannot use a date field. It has to use a, a, a list. In this case, a list of numbers from one until the until the last record, last row on your data set. Then we come down here, and this is this is where the magic happens. This is where we're actually calculating the uh, the values. Then we come down and we do a prediction, and then we plot the main data. And then we add in our our predicted values. So let's just take a look over here and see what's going on. Start with you can you know as first of all, uh, once again I'm using I'm using basic R R markdown and I'm using uh, RSQL library to pull in the actual COVID-19 data. Um, <clears throat> the the low rush function itself is a part of base R, along with LM, which is which is for which is for linear regression models. So you have two the probably two most powerful and common used. Uh, you know, regression models we have, and that's uh, LM and, uh, and LOAS. So here I'm, I'm loading the library, and I'm loading in my data from the database. That's just the name of the fields. Then I calculate a daily sum of cases and a daily sum of dates, of, uh, of deaths. Then we plot this. All right, so let's just do this first. Let's just... Just run through this right here and see what's going on. So there's the fields in the database. Now we're calculating aggregations. Now we're plotting cases and deaths. So now is where the calculation of form fitting actually begins. We create an index first. Then we use the lowest function to calculate that value. And it creates a a vector or a list also, I'm guessing, having to check the class type. This is the default setting. Then we come down, we use three different spans. We use a span of 25, a span of 50, and a span of 75. Then we do the predictions for each one for each one of these values up here. Then comes the plot. The first line is a basic plot. The second one is a line. This, this is where the uh, <coughs> where the uh, where the fitted value, the lowest value, is actually is actually fitted. So you can see here DB2, which is which is the sum of cases, uh, the date reported, and now the fitted value. Same thing in this case, the line is DB2 reported uh, 0.025 SAN or SPAN. This is the DB23 now line also. This is a this is a span of 0.05. 0.50, and here's the 1.5. <clears throat> Let me come down and do a quick copy and paste, make the corrections to the names, and we plot the deaths. It's like I want to point out that uh, oh, as it is, is, is a <clears throat> is a uh, 
a, 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 a function of basic R. So at this point, all right. So now let's run the code. Check our numbers. Here's the, I wonder why it starts here at the bottom. Wow. Okay. So here's the plot of the cases by date for the worldwide numbers. Here's a plot of deaths by date for the world for the whole world. Now we do the, the now we do our initial calculations for for cases. All right, 25, 50, 75 from default. Now we do a plot of the default cases. The, the red is, is is the low res curve and the fitted curve. Not bad. Let's take a look at point zero five span. Now this is interesting because it does hug it pretty close, but this seems to be indicating a slight decline in cases. The blue is a little, is a little straighter, you know, but still gives us the basic shape. It doesn't actually pick up this slight decline. This is the 0.75 span. Now let's look at this, the default death setting. You can see this is trending upwards here. But while the 0.25, once again, seems to think that it's peaked, and now it's, now it's starting to do like a peak right about in there, and now it's starting to decline. And here's a 0.75 span, or 0.50 span. Again, it's a straight increase here. 0.75, much, much the same now. There's one other thing we could do with this code. We can pull out just the data for the U.S. We do the, the F <coughs> subset, comma, Countries, I think this is the right abbreviation. I think it's, I think it's USA in it. Just try some. Yes, it is USA. So if this works correct, we should get a report for the U.S. only here. So let's see what happens. All right? So let's see what happens. Well, this looks about right. And there seems to be a clear downtrend here, by the way, for cases. Deaths are trending up, but they haven't really reached the single peak here. Now let's plot our fitted curves, the default fitted curve up pretty straight. But look at point two five. Look at what's going on here. It's saying that the numbers are trending down for cases. 0.5, a little bend, a little flattening. 0.7, more of a straight curve, really take, gives, gives you that overall big picture. Let's take a look at this. The default, it's still staying below, this is still staying below this curve here, default. Point, now, now, point seven two five doesn't look too bad. It does show a slight incline here, which of course we see. Point five shows an increase, a steady increase here, which is which is correct. Point seven five doesn't show the doesn't show the uh, the increase so much. Interesting enough. So, so with one report, we've created two different 
two different with with one uh, our market, but we we created two different ports, one for the world and one for the U.S. You know, let's do one more. You know, I, I love Spain, so let's 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 look at Spain, see if this works. So I know Spain is going through some rocky times right now with the COVID nineteen. So here's the here's Spain's plot of cases, a definite uptrend here with some very large spikes. Now here's the problem. Two problems. One, what is this doing here? That huge that's almost minus two thousand deaths for that day. Then it goes spike, but it's pretty much flattened here. This is gonna be interesting. Let's take a look at the fitted curves first. Oh, look at this. Now see what the fit does? It pretty much smooths over that huge spike and starts at zero. There's a slight less than zero. But the important thing is we still see the large increase in cases. This is the default setting. Now we have you know we have a point two five. You can barely you can just barely see it there, but you can see it's still trending straight up. Which isn't too encouraging. Same story. They they got this continuous increase up here. deaths. Here's the problem. The deaths is a problem. Okay? I'm sorry. You can't have a negative. I don't understand why we got a negative deaths. It's really affecting all these numbers here. So it's really hard to see because there could be as many as, say, 250 cases here. Up to 500 cases, we just can't see it. Okay, let's try one more thing. One more thing. Okay, let's run Spain again, but let's have cases greater than zero. Let's see what happens now. Yes. Okay, be a, be a minute here. Sorry for an interruption, and my dad just called me from the other room. Okay. So once again, thanks for thanks for stopping by the uh, Cable Data Science channel. And again, uh, don't forget to press that S, the red S button down in the lower right hand corner to subscribe to the channel. And also, you, and once again, your your challenge is to get one of your friends to subscribe to this channel also in the next week. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. Thanks so much, and have a great day.